Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's continue with our pagination system here. So already we know that it's working because if we change the page number at the top there, we get the correct page of contents. But we want to not bother with the URL. We just want to be able to click these buttons here and let them actually work. Now, before I uh, create the thing that works with these buttons, I want this thing here to show us the correct uh, page number, right? Here. Uh, I don't know what, what we can start with, really. Hmm, let's see here. Okay, so we need to kind of manipulate this. And first of all, I want to put the first button here so that uh, as we go, we can always go back to page one without a problem instead of having previous. Previous is not really that important. Anyway, it depends what you want to do with this thing. We can have previous and then we can have first here. Let me see if there's anything like that with Bootstrap here so that we don't have to struggle. No, it doesn't seem like we have, um, no, but it's not a big deal because what we can do is if we go to the cells view, uh, right here where there's one, I can duplicate this. Wait, what's going on? These look weird here. Okay, there we go. So instead of one here, I will duplicate this one. One will remain here and this one will be uh, previous. Actually, let me undo this. Let me duplicate the previous instead. It's just the same thing anyway. So instead of previous here, I'll start with first like that. And let's see how that works. Okay, so we have first page previous. Let me um, make this shorter like this. Okay, so we have the first page, the previous page, one, two, three, and then next. Okay, just so we have a lot of freedom here to move around. So what I need now is to have a link to the first one here. Now, what we need to do is just recreate this URL here and then just change the page number. So everything else remains the same. So we really need to uh, put back everything that belongs there and then just change the page number. Now, this is very easy because all our variables are inside the get variable, the get array. And then we know that we are always accessing the index page only. So that isn't a big deal. So what we will do is we don't know what will be in the URL. I want us to make this uh, pagination very universal. I don't want to just use it right here. I want us to use it here as well. And I also want you to be able to use it on several projects if you want. So it's better to always make it universal. That way you don't have to code it every time. So instead of me hard coding this URL, because I can do that, I can just hard code this URL by just copying it from here if I get it like that. So copy that and then I go to my URL link. On the first page, I just need to paste that and then just put and page is equal to one like this. So just by doing that, I know exactly that this will lead me to the first page every time. Now, this link is very particular to this particular page, right? So it doesn't take into account what page you're on, which doesn't make this whole system very universal, but it still works. So if I go here and say, and page is equal to 30, for example, the moment I click on first, it would take me back to the first page. As you can see, page is equal to one. But I don't want it to work like this. I want it universal. So I want it to construct the URL depending on what's going on. So. How do we do that? Now let's create a constructor somewhere. Now we're going to turn all this into a model for the pagination, but for now, uh, we don't need to. Uh, maybe let's try and do it right here where the pages are. So here I'll just put some PHP tags. So this is all temporal 
because we're going to push all this into a class okay or a function at least so what i want to do is reconstruct uh, the url right so first of all i'll say url is equal to okay um hmm. Hmm. i'll say index.php question mark and then say pg oh no no we won't do that so just put the question mark there and leave it and then i will put a semicolon then what i'll do is i'll go through the get variables like this because at this point i'm not sure what will be in the get I just know that there will be something and even if there's nothing this is still okay so i'll go through all of these and then what i'll do is i'll say get as key and value so i will add those keys and values to this by saying url dot equals which means add to and then uh, i'm going to put an and like this and then put the key because every key should have an and at the beginning in order to concatenate them. And then I will add the equal sign like this and then add whatever value is there, like so. So that whatever, I'm just saying index.php and then from the question mark, I'm going to put and whatever key is equal to value, key is equal to value, etc. And then when I'm done, let me just echo the URL here. Okay, so let me come back here and let's refresh. So you see that this is the link that has been created. So it's index.php question mark and pg is equal to admin and tab is equal to sales and page is equal to one. So we've just recreated this. The only difference is that there's an and after the question mark. Now this might be confusing but it's legitimate. It's okay to have it like that it's just that if you want you want it cleaner you can remove this by simply um, what you can do is this uh, let's see if we can clean it out a little bit what I can do is I'll say URL 2 okay this is the second part of the URL, I'll put this one as an empty and then add to URL to here. So I'm adding this and then when I'm done, I can trim the URL. So I'll say URL uh, is equal to, or URL to rather, is equal to trim URL to like that. So what am I trimming? Usually when you just say trim, it will remove the spaces, but I wanted to trim any and that exists. So what I'm really doing here is that I'm creating two parts of the URL. The first one is just index.php with a question mark. The second part is this. Now, as you can see, this second part has an and at the beginning and who knows, it may have an and at the end. So I just want you to trim and remove the ands at the beginning and at the end, if there are any. And then in that situation, this will close up. So here I could put this and at the end there that's that will still work just fine but even at the beginning it's okay so once i trim that then now if i echo out uh, a concatenation right i'll say url is going to be equal to concatenate url2 like that and then let's echo out url now so if I refresh, now you see it's much cleaner because that and is gone. But even with that and, it will still work. So there's no problem there. It's just that, you know, we like clean things like this. Anyway, so once this is done, this is good. Now, all I need to do for a particular page is to just uh, tell it what page number I want, okay? So that when it meets the page, then it can act on it. So here I can just say page is equal to, let's say three, right? And then on this one, <clears throat> what I will do is this. I'll put an if statement and say if the key 
is equal to page. So if the current key is page, which means we are editing the page number, okay? So if key is equal to page, then let's do something else. If it's not, let's put an else, continue as before. I have two brackets here now I can remove. So if it's equal to page, what we would do is we're going to concatenate this as it is, but instead of just putting value there, we are going to say, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Value is going to be equal to page. So since these are uh, double quotes, I can put a variable in there. Okay, so this, this will be page is equal to whatever page number we supply there. And now once we echo this, it will have the page number that we want. So let's see that in action. So refresh and you see now the URL has page is equal to three. So all I have to do now to create a link to a particular page is just to change the number here. So I can put number eight there and then come back. And if I refresh, you see now I have a link to page eight. As simple as that, okay? So instead of having this, we can turn this into a function. Then we supply the page number and then uh, that's it. We have the page number that we want. There's only one problem though. Uh, currently, if I remove the page from the URL and try this, you see that now I get no page number, even though I have supplied a page. And that's because a page number is only added if a key for page actually exists already. So all we need to do is to check if there's any page is equal to in this URL, okay? So before we concatenate it to this, what we can do here is, let's see, we can put an if statement and say if string string right so this is a string so we want to search through a string we use that string string function the haystack is where we are searching so we are searching inside url2 okay and what's the needle is what we are searching for so in this case we are searching for some text which is says page is equal to like that so if this text does not exist, because we can't put a number there, we don't know what page number it's going to be. So we're just looking for page is equal to. Now, if you like searching using regular expressions, you can do this uh, by putting that and then putting, uh, the pattern will be something like zero to nine because there'll be a number here and then you put a plus like that. But a simple text search like this will do. So we're going to say if string string uh, not, let's put a not there. If it doesn't exist, that's what we're just looking for. If a page number does not exist there, what we will do is add it there, okay? So in this case, we're going to say uh, URL, URL2 dot equals, which means add to, we'll add an and, and then we'll say page is equal to, and then we'll get whatever variable is in page over there and put it there like so. Alrighty then. So we've covered all our bases. Now it means even without the page number existing there, if I refresh, we'll still have a link that has page number is equal to eight because that's what we've told it. If I put 18 there, I'll get page number is equal to 18. So this is very good only thing we need to do now is convert this into a function so simple so we'll say function let's give it a name we'll say um create page link like that and then here we'll supply the page number okay like so you can put number there or just page like this is okay and let's do that and then i'm going to move this closing bracket because this is a function of course and I will put it right here okay so we have a function now that does this now instead of echoing the URL uh, we're going to tell it to return the URL so here I'm just going to say return as a result right return URL so now this is a function so no echoing is going to happen so if I refresh now you see nothing but the beauty of this now is I can just request 
any regardless what page i am on right it doesn't matter what page i'm on i can request a uh, page number okay so here what i'll do is i'll say for example uh, i'll say echo okay and then let's call the function so the function is this one create page link and so I want a link to a very specific page. So I'm echoing here because it just returns a result I need to echo it. So here I'll supply what page number I want to create a link to. So here that's page 10. So if I come back here and refresh, you see that, uh, oh, wait a minute. It's not right. This is page 10. So what's going on? Oh, it's because we actually gave it a value there. So let's remove that because it's overwriting this one. Okay, so that should work. If I now refresh, you see now I have a link to page 10. So I can make a link to any page just by giving it what I want. So in short, I can just copy this, for example, and then come here and put numbers. So instead of this href here, what I would do is I'll tell it to echo out page one like this. Now, since this is PHP, I'll do an echo like that and then close that. So create page link to page one, simple and straightforward. So now if I refresh, it will always take me to page one as you can see there. So let's create one to page two, right? Because there's page two here. So I'm going to copy this and let's go to page two here. Boom, and create one to page two. And let's refresh. Now, if I click on page two, I'm on page two. If I click on the first page, I'm on the first page. So you get the idea uh, of what I'm doing here. If I put one there for, um, uh, what's this? Uh, this is page one, so that's correct. This is page three and put page three there. That's correct. So let me refresh and yeah, refresh. So page one, as you can see there, if I click here, page two, if I click here, page three, first page. Now, the only problem we have here is that you see these pages are not uh, fixed. What if I want page 10, 12, 13, whatever? I don't want to start hard coding them like this, the way they are right now. Uh, this is impractical. So let's see how we can improve this pagination to do a little bit more. Uh, for example, previous page, we can't just put a number directly there, right? Because the previous page depends on the current page. So all we need to do is know the current page, okay? So do we know the current page? Uh, let me go to the admin here. And this is how we get page number. So we know the current page, right? So current page is this one, right? Require page number. So page number actually exists. So what we can do is, you see here where there's previous, uh, what we can do is something like this. Let me copy this and let me put it here. So previous page is just current page number minus one, like that. So whatever the page number is, minus one, that's uh, what we get. And then for the next page, um, if I put it here, it's all plus one. So let me come back here and let's refresh. So if I click next, I'm on page one, right? If I click next, it goes to page two. Next, page three. Next, page four. Next, page five. Previous, previous. Next, next, first. So pretty much things are good, but we have a problem. If we're on page one and I click previous, look what happens. Because now we're on page zero, which does not exist. So that is a problem. Mm -hmm because we can't have page zero like this. So we need to guard against those things. But before we do that, let's organize this pagination thing a little bit better in the next video.